Hi everyone, it's Paul here. I recently made the video which was to have a paid trial and membership subscription. I've been working on this myself in a couple of cases and I've actually noticed something which you'll need to implement as well as part of the process. Now the idea here is that we have the subscription um, in the order summary um, sorry, the order choice, not the order summary. And then we have the one-time payment as the bump offer. Now, this is an example of it I've got here on the screen, so let me just show it to you. Let me get this up. So one thing I realized is that when I had my code in the footer, um, it wasn't se automatically selecting the item here. In this case, it's a seven days jing jing less product. Um, what would happen is that if someone was being lazy, or well, they didn't realize, they, they wouldn't have selected this. They just entered their details. They could have then clicked on the yes, I agree button and uh, got the uh, complete order box. And then when they actually click complete, they would have, would have only just purchased the bump and they wouldn't have purchased the subscription as well. So to go around this, I've got some code for you, and you need to do, uh, which I'm gonna post in the video below, but you need to do two things. So as before, just jump into uh, products to start with. What you want to do is go to your subscription products. In this case, I have a subscription product, which is $25 a month. Uh, right click on where it says edit, and click open, link in new tab you'll get a, a new tab open and it'll have some coding inside but what we'll actually all we really want from here is um the product id so we'll just see if we can find the product id in here and um, it's here at the top it's in the actual it's in the actual url in this case it says uh forward slash products forward slash 884 three four zero so that's the product idea so copy that product id so highlight it and copy it, okay? Then what you want to do is close that tab down and go back to overview. Okay, go into your order form and click on edit page. And then once you're in, you need to go to the footer. So again, just go up to settings and click on tracking code. And we're looking for the footer code, okay. So here you can actually see I've got my code, so I'm gonna paste this all in. Um, this top section of code is how the order bump works, which you would have seen from my previous video. It is this second section of code here, which you'll need to copy and paste into your footer code. And anything you need to change is the product ID, which is these six digits here, which I'm just highlighting on the screen. Put your product ID in there. Once you've done that, exit, uh, save, and then reload the page. And what you'll notice is that every time the page comes up, every time you do a preview or you do a live version of the page, it's automatically selected the item, and then it means they automatically have to select the order bump to continue the purchase. I hope that makes sense, and I hope you're okay with implementing that. Any questions, uh, please do let me know. Thank you. Goodbye.